like, yo, Brandon, yo, sometimes you do the same shit all the time. It's like, yeah, man, you find something to work, you don't fucking stop doing it. You stop doing it when it stops working. Like, that's like, not just working out, but life, man. When it's not, you find something that works, double down on that shit. Like, do it more. Like, you know, the reason my first channel got successful, I started posting every day. And then my views and my, my subscribers went up, and I said, fuck it, two times a day. And I did that until it stopped working, right? But it worked. But I, I rolled away, right? And that's what I'm doing here, man. Like, just in life, when you find something that works, man, double down on it. Like, don't stop doing it until it stops working. She was like, man, I used to do that shit and that shit used to work. Talking about something. And I'll be like, oh, that's cool, man. Why'd you stop? I don't know. She's like, I don't know either, motherfucker. You should have kept doing that shit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start doing that shit you were talking about. You're gonna miss your wave, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like coming today. But I'm also not a pussy. It's not always about what you want to do, it's about what you want to accomplish. You're on steroids. Why are you think I'm on steroids? I've been working out for two years, and I'm not as big as you. I've been working out for 20 years. And not only have I been working out for fucking 10 times as long as you. How are you working out? Let me see your training log. Let me see your training log. Huh? Huh? I don't have a training log. You know, but you know. Well, how do you work out? You know, I lift weights. All right, let me see a diet log. Let me see a diet. I eat good. I eat good. How many calories did you get today? How many calories did you eat yesterday? Uh, I don't know. I just, I just need help. Yeah, like, well, shut the fuck up. I can tell you. Pick any day. Pick any fucking random day. Over the last... 10 years, I'll tell you exactly, I can find exactly what I ate that day, what time I ate it, how much protein was in each meal, exact macros. I walk around with a fucking scale in my bag to weigh my food. If you're not doing that shit and you've ain't done it for 20 years, don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to me. Just don't compare yourself to me. Or anyone like me, man. You're not on my caliber, you're not on my level, right? It's a different league. I, I, I eat good, I eat healthy. You don't do shit. You don't do shit. You a bitch. Oh, this guy made this much money. Same guy's like, oh, this guy, he's, he's just a scam artist. He doesn't really make money. Oh, right. Why not, man? Because you can't make money? How much money you spent last month? How much money you spent last month? Hmm? How much money you spent last month? We're talking 100%. What are you? Oh, man, no, no. You don't fucking know because you are a fucking bitch. All right? You don't fucking track your macros. You don't track your training. You don't track your finances. I'll tell you how much money I made every day for the last month, all right? I'll tell you how much money I spent on tracking this shit. And I'm making adjustments accordingly. I've done that for two decades. That's why you're not where I am. That's why you're not successful. That's me, at least. Not because I'm cheating. I'm, I'm, man, I've never seen a fucking steroid, honestly. I've never seen a steroid in person, man. You haven't either. All right, all you sucking steroid experts. <laughs> you never seen a steroid. What you did is you fucking watched a fucking someone else's homemade YouTube video and then, oh, this guy must be fucking right because he's a skinny fuck like me. And he's hating on the real niggas who've been doing this shit at a high level for two decades. So it must be fucking, he must be right. Cause he's a skinny fuck just like me. You know what you're doing, right? It's like that shit. You just want to feel better about yourself. You don't want the answers. I'm giving you the answers. I give you all the answers. I told you everything I know about making money. I told you everything I know about building muscle. I gave you answers. You don't want the answers. You want an excuse, right? Cause if I'm cheating, that means, that means, Oh, Brandon, it's not that I'm not working as hard as Brandon. It's not because I've been putting the work that Brandon puts in. It's because he's cheating. So it exonerates you from the responsibility of going after your goals 100%. And that's cool. You can do that if you want. It will help you. It'll help you feel better. But it doesn't help you in life. It doesn't help your position. It doesn't help your family. It doesn't help your legacy. You know? 
It's not gonna help you get no money. It's not gonna help you get no pussy. <laughs> it's gonna help you be a pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Pussies get fucked. My big long dick. What are you talking about again? Right. You a bitch. That's what we talking about again. Again, you being a bitch. You know what's funny? Motherfuckers who say, this guy's on steroids. Or you know what? Even more than that, we're like, I admire the confidence in a motherfucker who says, who critiques my training techniques or my training stuff. I admire the confidence of that person, especially like because most of you are skinny fucks and you're out of shape and you've never trained a person in your life. You never help one person. You never help somebody who's 100 pounds. I do that all the time. I've been doing it for the majority of my life, my entire adult life. I've helped motherfuckers build. If you had never helped nobody build 20 pounds of muscle in a year, only noobs can do that, but I've done it. You never did that. You never trained anyone. I trained thousand people. If you have never trained a person, then could cheat another a fucking trainer who's done that shit at a high level for two decades. That takes so much confidence. I don't have that much confidence. You know what? You don't have that much confidence. You are fucking delusional. It's what you are. You're not confident. You are fucking delusional. You are a fucking maniac. You are a fucking maniac. When you look at something like, like the motherfuckers, like um, boy Ty Lopez, when I look at, oh, he's a scam artist. He's a scam artist. What's the scam? What's the scam? Is he, did he, is he not selling what he says he's selling? Like if you buy the course and it's just like dick pics and it's not like a making money course. <laughs> did you do everything he says and then you didn't get results? It's so funny that a broke motherfucker will critique a rich motherfucker. It takes so much confidence for a motherfucker who's like legitimately rich. Oh, he's renting his cars. He's renting his shit. These motherfuckers automatically turn into financial experts, experts in personal finances. When it costs, hey asshole, it costs more to rent than to buy, right? It costs more time. That's how the shit works. If I buy a house and I rent it to another motherfucker for profit, that's how I make my money, right? Because I charge them more than my mortgage. That's how the fucking dealerships make money when they rent a car. Renting it every day costs more than he doesn't rent it for his shoots. He's shooting every day. Watch the Snapchat right now. There's a fucking eight Lambos and 20 bitches on the Snapchat right now. But you got the, the answers. You just want to feel better about being losers. So if he's cheating and lying, that means to you, oh, it's not because I'm not as smart as him. I don't work as hard as him. I don't, uh, I don't know as much as him. It's because he's cheating. It makes you feel better. I don't make you no more money. I don't get you no pussy. It just helps you become a pussy. Stay a pussy. And if you want to be a bitch all your life, so yeah, I guess if you think I'm cheating or you think. How did all these guys become steroid experts, though? I've never seen a steroid. You've never seen a steroid. And once I said that shit, someone says, hey, Brandon, how could you used to sell drugs? What do you mean you never saw steroids? Yeah, that's because the motherfucker snorting cocaine is not the same motherfucker shooting, shooting steroids. Oh, okay, I'll take that back sometimes. <laughs> but not the motherfuckers. I was, I was selling it to party motherfuckers. It's like, it's, it's a different, you get it from a different person. You get, you get, you get cocaine. A nigga named Pablo or uh, Juan, right? <laughs> you get you get steroids. I'd imagine from a dude who looks like a Jersey Shore character. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's a different connect. It's a whole different industry. You know? There might be some overlap. I don't know. Maybe stop being pussy.